Hi, welcome to a wet but warm summer's afternoon in Chesterfield. This video is going to be about the new fry for this year's Grow On. And as usual, I'm not growing them on for show, I'm not growing them on for any other reason, just the experience and the fun of growing fry. Today is the arrival of the fry, so we're going to get the box, we're going to open it up, we're going to bowl them up and we're going to have a look. And as usual, if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Sit back and enjoy. As you can see, for the second year running, I've gone for the Adam Bayer Fry. And these are one inch and they're round one, which is a mix being Kahaku, Shisui and Doishu Achiba. So hopefully we're going to get some beauties out of this lot. So sit back and open them up, we'll bowl them up and we'll have a close look at them before we go through where they're going to live for the next year. Got a couple of bags of food as well, first stage, second stage. On the inside of the IBC there's a pump guard fitted to the bottom drain and over that is a cloth net that we've shown you in the last video. That comes into the side of the shed, it goes into a 10,000 litre very flow pond pump, pond expert pond pump, that then pumps it up and into a pond expert 8000 spin clean auto which in turn filters the water and then continues it up into a one kilowatt cloverleaf heater that then goes into the Tempest. Back out via the backy shower. There's the backy outside. It trickles through three tiers with BHM in there or cinder block, whatever you want to call them. And then into here. And we've got an air stone in the middle of the water. That's controlled and fed three times a day by a mini auto feeder. They've floated in there for a bit and then we'll have a look at them in a minute. That's the first view of them and there's one that's really really weird. I don't know what's uh, there. It's that orange one with a big black patch on it right in the middle. Not a good size. A couple already developing a bit of red on it, but as everybody knows, it grows fry from one inch on. It can change every week. Potential one there has got a good head on it. And it's got some red and white uh, patches on it, so that's possibly the Kalku side of it. But like I say, it's part and parcel of the enjoyment of raising koi. Keeping an eye, watching them grow. Let's see if we can get a, a better view with the other camera and then we'll uh, let them go.
I've set the feeder up there and it's doing three feeds a day, 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock and 6 p.m. and it's going to do one rotation on the first feed and two on the second two feeds. It's going to give it a decent amount of food in there. I'm not sure how they'll cope with the first uh, couple of days until they get used to the water etc. But we'll have a look at them once they've been settled. Thanks a lot for watching the video. If you've got any questions regarding anything in the video, please write them in the comments below. As you've seen, the fry are comfortable, they've settled in nicely, and I've set the feeder up automatically, but I am giving a few bits and bobs in between, and they are responding to it, so they're getting used to the fact that this is food, this is where to find it. But there'll be enough algae, enough natural food in the water to keep them going for a bit longer anyway. So, the temperature's set at 20 degrees, I will start to turn that up a bit as the days get colder and probably run it at 22 through the winter. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you're not already, please hit the subscribe button and check out some more videos. Thanks a lot for watching. From a beautiful, warm summer afternoon in Chesterfield, happy ponding.